Manila is always changing and improving. I was absolutely shocked by what I have discovered. And I can't help but get blown away by how fast these changes are happening. Guys, isn't this crazy? This restaurant is the only restaurant that I crave for. After being on the road for a few weeks, I came back to Robinson's Magnolia to find a plethora of new restaurants and food stands at Public Eatery. It's well worth the drive here because you can get food concepts here that you can't get anywhere else. And without doubt, thus, is the Philippines' new best food hall. I've said it before and I stand by it. You cannot beat moles in the Philippines. You cannot beat moles in the Philippines. Oh, mm, so good. Guys, I am at an absolute loss for words. For the first time in quite a long time, I have made my way over to Robinson's Magnolia, to Public Eatery, to come and check up at the coffee shop. Uh, this is, as you know, my first Moore's Coffee location in the Philippines. I came here to see how things are going, to talk to the baristas, get a little bit of feedback from the customers, and I was absolutely shocked by what I have discovered. Things have changed so much here. I want to say things have changed so much. I mean in a positive way. I am blown away by the amount of new restaurants that have opened up here at Public Eatery, the cool concepts, and it, it looks so awesome. It smells so good. I am so excited to show you guys around. Guys, isn't this crazy? Like when we were here the last time, there were just very few restaurants that were open at Public Eatery, but now this, I mean, it's nuts. There's so many, I mean, I saw it just from. briefly. I haven't really, I haven't really checked everything yet. But it's so far, I'm seeing a lot of tarps that are taken down. A lot of the coming soon restaurants seem like they have come already. I mean, it seems like they're open already. I actually want to take a walk with you and yeah. check them out. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's go take a little walk and see what's new. Okay, so this is the POV when you arrive at Public Eatery. This is what you see. It is looking so so cool. Uh, the first thing we have here is a karage bar. How awesome is that? So here we have different types of karage with a screaming chicken. <laughs> wait, wait, let's, let's press them all at the same time. Three, two, one. <laughs> wow. I want to try it. That is such a cool idea, like all the different types of karage. And I can remember when we were in Japan a few months ago, we would go from, from convenience store to convenience store to try the different types of karage that they are for a concept like this. Different choices. Wow, so cool. Very nice. Well, we this already that. is looking very promising. It's very promising and the fact that we spent days to try to lose weight and days to try to get it get back on track and lose a little bit of those fat it's now gonna be <laughs> those days are gone yeah. we're gonna have to splurge today well guys when i arrived back in the philippines from south africa i had gained a crazy amount of weight i was weighing 101 kilograms and since arriving back i've gotten my weight down to like a healthy 96.5 to 97 but I, I need to still drop at least another seven kilos over the next half a year. I so. want to see that. It says OK Bob. OK Bob, let's go. <laughs> so here before we go to OK Bob, we have freshness in a cup. Buko. So this seems to be like a juice bar with different types of coconut buko. Juice yeah, coconut juice. Here we have a gentleman from the Manila Bulletin. Hi. Hello, good to see you <laughs> nice again. Hi. <laughs> so how many things have you gotten to try yet? Huh? How many things have you tried already? Oh, we already have like a load in our table. We haven't really tried it everything yet, but everything looks very mouth watering. So yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. So this one, uh, this one's definitely also my. Oh, look at that coconut lychee passion fruit juice. That sounds absolutely delicious. Okay, next up we have OK Bob. I have a theory. I have a theory a why theory? it's called OK Bob. Okay, what, what is your theory? Because you can say OK Bob. Ah, you, you know what? You might be right. I might be right. <laughs> so here we have different types of kebab. Oh, that looks so good. Look at that. 
That looks so good. So we have different types of grilled meats on rice with some falafel kebab. It's so good. I, I think those also need to be on our list to try, but what on earth is that back there? And everybody, please let me know in the comments down below if you remember Spanky. You were in one of the vlogs a very long time ago at yes. uh, U Hotels in Makati. Yes. Yeah. And we're still there. We're still there. You should come visit. <laughs> so have you gotten to try some of the foods here already? Yeah, I'm trying Lichon now by Chef Happy. Last week I was here for Chef Tatung's Quack Quack Fried Chicken. Uh, how was it? Intense. Amazing? Intense. It's like street food mixed with New York style sizes. It's crazy. It's nice, crazy. nice. How about the coffee? You enjoy the coffee? The Ube coffee was my favorite. Oh, the Ube nice. latte, guys. Try it. <laughs> at Morse. Am I pronouncing it right? Correct. At Morse. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll get some more later. <laughs> some sort of appetizers from that? Yeah, what do you think of that? Looks good, right? Right, yeah. yeah. Everything with the rice looks good too. <laughs> and then this place. We've had this many, many times. Samyang. Mwah, so good. The prawns, the green curry. And now they have like, we have to, we have to try so many of the dishes that they have here. It looks you know, so good. I don't like eating out because I like to cook a lot. But when I do get the chance to eat out, there's only very few uh, restaurants that I end up liking. This restaurant is the only restaurant that I crave for when I don't have it like enough. Yeah. It's, it's the taste that you would crave for. It's so good. The it's papaya so salad, like everything. It's just so, so good. Wow, I'm so excited to see so many new concepts and restaurants opening up here. So cool. Then here, if you are looking for some grilled. more like uh, traditional Filipino stuff, like grilled foods, right? No? Yeah, grilled. Yeah, it looks really good. And then here, we have something new. 10 by 2 Cayman. Very, very nice. Give me a sign. A door with the key and it's locked on the other side. A face in the window is calling me to fly. So this place also looks incredibly cool. New York Kubao remix Filipino food by Chef Tatong. Oh, that looks good. Oh my god, what are we gonna have, love? It's so hard. And then, of course, the pearl in the middle. We have Moore's coffee. Uh, the feedback has been so stellar from the people trying the coffee. I'm so excited about our coffee shop and the brand and the concept behind it. And honestly, everybody that comes here and tries the coffee has been so pumped just because it, it's really, it's so good. And we poured our heart and soul into getting the best coffee possible here. And we're proudly serving beans from the Philippines as well to show just how incredibly good coffee with Filipino beans can be. And we're gonna be expanding the menu more and more to show it more and more even. So really, really cool. The concept that I'm very excited about, Ono Aloha Kitchen, because I don't know if you know this, but I really love Poke Bowls. Really, really, like really, really love We've Poke Bowls. We've never tried it together. Exactly. You've never said you'd like it enough. Exactly. But I have made you a Poke Bowl before. Yes, yes. I'm right. She just admitted I have made her a Pokeball, so... Of course, we cannot forget Bad Bird. In my opinion, the best fried chicken you can get in Manila at the moment. I love it. I used to think you hype it up so much and that it gets overrated. But it's, it's really good. It's, so it's good. really the best yeah. fried chicken in Manila. And I love the, the kimchi fried rice is really good. The spicy, but it's so good. It's just, then here the dumplings really good. Oh, the shoma, everything here. Love, love, love this food. Uh, we had these the other time, so good. And then over there we have Frank's milk tea. Yeah, we have so many variations of plant-based milk teas here, which is quite cool. Because milk tea is always a guilty pleasure for everybody just yeah. because of the amount of sugar that it, it has. And this is kind of less guilty kind yeah. of pleasure. Look at that. Look at how colorful that is. Ooh, that looks nice. Okay, grape sea salt. Mm. By the way, guys, look at the nice view that you have here as well. So cool. Honestly guys, with all the new restaurant concepts that are here and the, the amazing types of food, this is a fantastic spot to come to. Even if you're coming from Makati or from BGC, it's well worth the drive here because you can get foods, concepts here that you can't get anywhere else. And it is 
so cool. What, what are we gonna eat? I'm overwhelmed. So you said a starter from the Latron place, maybe a poke bowl. And then karage. And then karage. And then samya. And then <laughs> And then a poke bowl. Okay, let's 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 see, let's see. <laughs> oh my love got herself a nice tiramisu. <laughs> Have you had this one before? Uh-huh. It is my favorite. It's your favorite? It's my absolute favorite. Jay, what's your favorite coffee at most? Flat white. The flat white? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> okay, Gray is just going to collect the foods for us to feast on. But while we wait, I wanted to talk a little bit about most coffee because one of the questions I've been getting a lot and seeing a lot when I do Q&As and in the comment section is what actually makes our coffee so special? And the answer is, well, first of all, these guys make the coffee very special. Dedicated baristas. <laughs> and then, of course, we have amazing equipment. Our coffee machine is a Lamazo Kundinea PB, which has special, it's like a very special, it's called the auto brew ratio. So it has integrated scales in the drip tray and special sensors that make sure that the coffee comes out perfectly every time, that the extraction is perfect every single time. Number two is, we have some crazy water filtration systems. It's called reverse osmosis filtration, which means it makes the water the purest of the pure water, and we can specify the water down to exactly what we need inside of it. So that brings up more flavors from the beans, and then we are at the final point that makes it so good. It's the beans that we use. So we use a blend of Ethiopian beans and beans from Benguetti in the Philippines. One of the few specialty coffee shops in the Philippines that actually uses beans from the Philippines, which we're really, really proud of. And they roast it proudly by Plainside, which is really a cool roastery here in the Philippines. And of course, all the ingredients that we use for our specialty drinks, the milk, everything is perfect. We use fantastic, fresh, locally sourced milk. So we make our milk beverages with Holly's Milk, which is a fantastic manufacturer of milk. It tastes great it's creamy it's fresh and it's local which is very important and i'm gonna steal a taste of ray's tiramisu that is so good mm. delicioso love these are a lot of buzzers you went all in <laughs> this is quite cute. It's like which one would vibrate first? Which one would vibrate first? It's quite cute. By the way, guys, this hey. is my friend Tyson. Hey, how's it going? Hey we've been uh, we've been friends for quite a while already, but we are, we've bumped into each other very very seldomly. Yeah. But lately, oftentimes here, right? Yes. How's the food? So good. We love this kebab. Nice. That's what looks like look really yeah. cool, like hanging down on the thing. I know. I know. <laughs> very nice. Well. Enjoy your food, looks really good. Thank you, we'll see you around. Wow, we got so much food here. Exciting. What are you gonna take in first? The dumplings? Yeah, I just missed this. Some of these I've already tried and I just have been missing a lot but most of them we haven't tried yet because they just opened recently and we're so excited to try them first let me have my show oh my <laughs> mm. so good right okay i am super excited to try this karage me too, me too, me too. i ordered two variants all right so which variants do we have here Japanese. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's give this a try. Mmm. Mmm. Crunchy, tender, juicy. That is so well seasoned. I love it, yeah. Mmm. Do you want to try this one? Spicy? Mm, good. Oh. Yum. That is so good. So which one do you like better? Same. Maybe this one's a little bit more seasoned, but this one has that spice to it, so yeah, both. One of the things I'm more excited about, chicken skin. <laughs> could never go wrong with chicken skin. Yeah, the chicken skin from Bad Bird is on another level, on another level. Just listen to this crunch. 
How's that Netron J? Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. It looks so, so good. So this is also one of the new stalls here. They have these lovely pieces of crispy on the outside, tender on the inside Letron. Oh, look at that. Dip it into that liver sauce. So good, yum. Also, we have this crispy Letron skin here. Oh, the Letron skin. Mm. So good. <laughs> Love, give the spam misubi bowl a try. You were craving this so much. I wonder what that is, potato stuff. Let's break it open. Oh. Perfect egg. How's that for an egg yolk? Amazing. Good? Mm. Mm. The burst of flavors. You wouldn't believe it though. More mm. Mm. Wow. That is really good. The burst of flavors. Yeah. <laughs> so good. 10 from 10 points. It's like being fine dining where it just keeps Yeah, going. right? I just love like the diversity, so many different foods and oh, it's so convenient. Filipino, love it. you have kebab, which is Middle Eastern. And I, I've said it before and I stand by it. You cannot beat moles in the Philippines. You cannot beat moles in the Philippines. All right, uh, full happy bellies. The food was so good. Uh, what a treat, like, I, I just love it. I got the coffee shop there and then all of those new food spots just make the place so, so welcoming and it's quite the experience. Definitely something that you guys should check out with friends and families, come together, order just food from a bunch of the food stalls and you can spend like a whole shopping day here at Robinson's Magnolia. This mall is massive and they have so many cool shops. There's so much cool stuff to do and literally anything you could need. One stop shop, you can get it all here at the small. We're gonna head back to BGC right now. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you are wanting to give it a try, please let me know in the comments down below. If you've been to the most location here at Robertson's Magnolia, let me know in the comments if you Hello, did enjoy Richard. it. <laughs> and uh, if you come here more frequently, let me know what your favorite beverage is. That being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow, St. Times and Flares from This Day Awesome. Be positive. Make it happen. Make it happen. Bye-bye.